Death marks 14 years since what's become known as the Missouri Miracle. Two teens found together after being abducted nearly five years apart. Right now, Michael Devlin is doing life for kidnapping Ben Ownby and Sean Hornbeck. The case is coming back to life tonight because of a web search in Canada. New at 10, Russell Kinsell is live downtown. And Russell, what's behind this man's search? He says he haunt, has haunting memories of Devlin. That's right. Kevin Palmer of Ontario, Canada, has reached out to the FBI office here in St. Louis seeking an investigation and charges involving an attempted abduction of him when he was only 14 years old. It's remarkable how he only recently discovered who it was who tried to snatch him off the street and the emotional toll it's taken on him. I got a very good look at his face and I will never, never forget that ugly face of his. It's almost too remarkable to believe not one but two missing boys found alive together in the same apartment. In 2007, police found abducted teens Ben Ownby, who'd been missing four days, and Sean Hornbeck, who'd been missing four years in Michael Devlin's Kirkwood apartment. Devlin was arrested and convicted. But now, Kevin Palmer is trying to come to grips with the encounter he says he had with Devlin in 1998. Devlin is answering for what he did to those other two boys, and I feel that, I feel you know what? To me, for my own peace of mind, he's got to answer for what he tried to do to me. In December of 1989, Palmer was visiting Robinson, Illinois, with his father and stepmother, who was from there. While walking back from a video rental store, he says a man in a pickup pulled up. Offered me a ride and said, OK, I'll give you a ride in my new truck. It'd be nice and warm. I'll drive you home. Palmer was only a half a block from the house and said, no thanks. And I just wanted to walk away, and the guy just he got upset. I don't know, irritated. He said, nah, nah. and I'll, I'll never forget this. He said, nah, boy, just get in the truck. He says he ran home and a police report was made. The years passed and the memory faded until July of 2020. Palmer says he was reading stories online about kidnapped children who escaped and came across Sean Hornbeck's story. Then he saw Devlin's photo, a face he says he'll never forget. I just remember yelling out, I was scared of waking up my dad. I said, well, that, that, that's him. It was the same guy from, uh, from Robinson. Retired Franklin County Sheriff Gary Telke was at the center of the investigation. Ownby was kidnapped in Franklin County. During the uh, investigation, we found out that um, he did go looking for other children. And he had um, about a 60-mile radius around the area where he lived, uh, going over into Illinois and into Missouri. Palmer has reached out to the FBI in St. Louis, seeking an investigation and charges against Devlin for the 1998 incident to get justice and peace of mind. But it's funny, who that guy was and what he did to two other kids and the fact that he would have done the same thing to me. That, that's, that was more traumatizing than the original event itself. I contacted the FBI. They told me they can neither confirm nor deny a complaint's been filed and they've launched an investigation. But Palmer's gone so far as to go to court and sign a sworn affidavit that his claims are true. Live downtown, Russell Kinsall, News 4.